Hi guys, Daz here from Review and I've got another game review today and it's called A Sheep Shield and it's from a Spooky House Studios. Now Sheep Shield's a very sort of simple game to play and it utilizes the bottom of the screen as a kind of touch element. It's in the same sort of genre as your Flappy Birds and those kinds of games, just simple tapping. However, this one's just a little bit different. So we've got a sheep and a little pen and the idea is um, to tap to activate the electric fence as uh, the wolves approach and to make sure that you don't get the sheep. It gets progressively harder and harder. As you can see, as soon as the wolves get to the sheep, it's game over. And it's just one of those simple sort of a little annoying games where you just want to keep uh, going back to it. So it's very simple. You can basically press anywhere along the bottom. Um, it's pretty responsive. You can hold it down for as long as you like. And the score just effectively just keeps ticking up. Um, it just gets harder and harder the more you play. So as you can see, the graphic is pretty nice. Nice, sweet animation. Um, the electrification of the fence looks cool. And also, uh, when the wolves do get your sheep, you'll see there's some nice little uh, sheep angels just to sort of polish it off. And so as that was quite a quick game review, um, I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you another watch face. And this one is uh, from the author of Poogee Black and it's called Poogee Blue. And so as you can see, Poogee Blue um, is actually a beautiful watch face. Um, predominant color is white or gray and you can see it has an ambient mode uh, as well. There are hour and minute hands and there's also a second counter that goes around. You can also see that across the bottom here we've got the date on the left. We've also got the battery of the wear device in the middle. And we've got a microphone that when clicked um, obviously takes you through to the uh, Google, OK Google page here. Now the battery uh, meter in the middle, uh, as you can see is green at the moment and that will change color depending on how much battery you have. So from green to orange to red. And you can also see that we've got a, uh, a cool ambient mode where only the hour and the minute hand are there. Slightly dimmed face, um, but we still have a background image. Now the watch face itself is clearly um, designed for Moto360. You'll see that across the bottom here, um, there's actually a little cutout in the design just to uh, account for that uh, black bar that you have on the Moto360. And also, very obviously, uh, the background still shows even on uh, dimmed mode. And so using something like the G-Watch R, uh, you would eat through your battery. So thanks guys, thanks for joining us for another review or two, and I hope you join us tomorrow for another um, Android Wear review. Thanks a lot, and uh, if you like what we're doing and you haven't already, please subscribe. Bye for now.